Hello and welcome to the Sunday Night Football Betting Picks video. I'm your host, Matthew Mata for Lamps.com, joined here by Jacob Wayne. we got the Packers and Eagles, and as you can see by the starts in eight hours, we're recording this one a little bit later. Um, so we're going to try and get this video done quickly so you guys can see it. And uh, currently, Eagles six and a half point favorites at home against the struggling Packers. Aaron Rodgers making more and more excuses for his thumb. Now apparently it's fractured in 85 places. It may not even exist. He may not have a thumb right now, Jacob. But does that deter you from picking the Packers, which I know you were kind of leaning on earlier in the week? No, I think I talked about this during our best bets video. I will be on the Packers here. I got I got it at plus seven. Um, plus, plus six and a half is still okay. That's pretty much the consensus at this point. But <clears throat> I still think there's room to exploit this Eagles team um, in the betting market. There's still some weaknesses here that I think the Packers can exploit. Uh, they rank 26 in run defense DVOA, 32nd dead last in rushing success rate allowed. And I know they just got Linval Joseph and, and Dominic Sue. And Joseph in particular played pretty well against the Colts last week. But, you know, I, I don't think that, that fixes all of their issues. Um, this Packers offense has had a lot of struggles, but... They're still about league average and early down success rate, early down EPA, and they're fifth in rushing offense DVOA. So behind a healthier offensive line than they've had at the beginning of the season, I think Aaron Jones can have a solid enough day on the ground to help compensate for whatever weaknesses Aaron Rodgers has in his passing game right now. Um, and I also think the emergence of Christian Watson helps a ton because you now have three pretty reliable wide receivers for him uh, with Alan Lazar, Christian Watson, and um, Randall Cobb um, playing pretty well lately. The, the Eagles are good still on offense, but, you know, the absence of Dallas Goddard is pretty significant for them. I think we saw that last week, and A.J. Brown clearly isn't 100% right now. Uh, he had the the uh, ankle injury and then an illness he's dealing with, so I just don't think they're quite the same high-octane offense we saw in the, fir the first couple weeks of the season, so I think the Packers can hang around here. Uh, I'm not going to call for the outright upset, but it wouldn't shock me, to be honest. Yeah, this one's... Tough and just quick note, we've talked about Jacob. Whenever you're betting an underdog in the NFL, it's basically been a good bet to also put a half unit on the money line. So if I was leaning that way, that's probably how I would do it. I, I think right now this line be it is the consensus and I'm with the consensus that it's a good line, so I'm not really placing on either side. I think if anywhere I would lean the over, but I am still just a little nervous about this Packers offense. I feel like at any one moment, it can kind of implode with like an argument between LaFleur and Rodgers. And we saw how bad Rodgers played last week. He blamed it on the thumb. Apparently, it's not gone any better. It's gone worse, which who knows if it was actually the thumb or if it was him having a bad game and looking for excuse. <laughs> That's kind of hard to handicap, in my opinion. And also this Eagles offense, it's like I I expect them to put up 28 on the Packers. But if the Packers come out in a zone scheme, you know, which they're capable of, I, I, I just don't trust Jalen Hurts right now. I'm revert All that trust I had in him that he had earned through the first, you know, seven some odd weeks through a season, I'm, I'm already losing because it seems like without Goddard, and if you just play zone against him, all of a sudden he he truly looks like Zach Wilson at times. Like not every play, obviously, but there's plays where he just he looks like he has no idea what to do with the football. He misses wide open guys. Very nerve wracking for me. I think this game. There's like so many bets. I feel like there's a slight value on, but this is kind of getting into what betting's for, and that's a, you know to have fun, to enjoy the game. And I really don't want to be sweating out bets for this one because I think it they're all going to be pretty close when it comes to the end of the game. So I'm staying out. I, I think you're on the side with value with the Packers 100%. Um, and maybe I want the over to happen, but maybe the unders even a value. I mean, who knows, but I, I don't really have any bets for the teams in this game. Yeah. I think the other thing I didn't mention is obviously, obviously the Eagles have one of the better home field advantages in the NFL, maybe the best right now. Um, but Rogers talked about that. And I think he kind of thrives on it to a degree. Honestly, I think he likes being the villain. So, I'm not overly concerned about that aspect of it. Um, I was going to look up the... Do you know if there's going to be weather tonight in Philly? I will look that up right now for you and see how it's looking. And right now, it looks like there's some light rain at the moment at 7 o'clock. It's going to be 62% precipitation and 13 mile per hour winds. Doesn't look like we ever hit that 15 mile per hour mark that we're worried about in terms of wind. 
But it looks like it's going to be like off and on light rain throughout. Yeah. Well, bottom line, I, I just think the Packers are a touch undervalued right now, even after last week. I mean, I had them against the Titans, and it definitely was the case, like I was talking about, that there were going to be open receivers for Rodgers. Um, I think he missed them a lot. Yeah. Uh, but he's had the, the 10 days since that game, uh, the extra rest to, to recover off of that, and I think he'll be better than he was in that game in, in this one. Um, the Eagles' defense is a little bit overvalued, too, just because of they've been really good in the second halves of games when they've had teams trying to come back against them, but when they're in those neutral game scripts, they haven't been as great. They, they ran just 20th in defensive DVOA in the first quarter, so... I think that's indicative, like, this, this is just a team that's a, a little bit overvalued in the market right now, so I'm happy to try to pick on them again. Yeah, I, and I'm totally kind of fine with that. I, I think I found a bet I like, and it's kind of, it's a little bit more of a longer shot, but if I'm going to bet on the Packers, I think this is the one I, I want to go with, and that's over two and a half touchdowns for Green Bay at plus 155, and I'll throw a half unit on it. I, I don't love it, but I really, like, the Eagles... First of all, I want to give a quick shout. The offensive line for the Packers have looked really, really good the past few weeks with everyone kind of getting healthier. And Aaron Jones, man. Like, I think a lot of people came in the season thinking, like, he's better than A.J. Dillon, but not, like, a huge gap. Oh, my God, the gap is massive. And I think Aaron Jones yeah. is going to have a really big game. I think Watson, unfortunately, may be a, a great value for another TD scorer. But, yeah, three touchdowns for this Packers team. I don't think it happens the majority of the time, but I think it happens at way higher frequency than plus 155. I would have set it at, like, maybe plus 110. So I'll take that slight value with a half unit. All right. That's going to wrap it up for the picks. Let's quickly head over <clears throat> to the report card from last Sunday Night Football. And uh, the magic words that Jacob always wants to hear, you were right. Uh, the Chargers did cover that plus five spread. However... In your little spout with Anthony, you were slightly wrong. The Chiefs did cover 28 and a half points. Um, all in all, I, I mean, you and Jason really called the way that game was going to go. So I don't know if the units completely reflect like your guys' analysis because I think it was absolutely spot on. I was slightly off. thought the Chiefs were going to score a tiny bit more. thought the Chargers might stall out. Shout out to Josh Palmer, who played incredible. Any notes from you? Um, no, I mean, I, I think Justin Herbert showed again on Sunday night that he's, I mean, I, I think he's the top five quarterback in the NFL right now. I think this season hasn't gone well for him because of the injuries and, you know, inconsistent coaching, but I, I still think he's a top talent. So happy to watch him uh, prove that again. All right. So brings our team total to minus 1.43 units. So Sunday night betting picks has been kind of the one video that we've struggled a tiny bit in. Obviously it's never great to be negative, but. Hopefully we'll come back here. I, I guess I have to root for the Packers tonight, but th that's totally fine. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you liked this video, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets and hit the subscribe button to see more content like this. Please check out the player prop version of this video, which we're about to do right now, and we'll see you for the next one very soon.